everyone. Clay and I are so excited to be here today during this anniversary celebration to talk about what's coming up for WoW Classic. I can't Ooh, believe that after 20 wow, years, my horse warrior is still finding new adventures. Nora, in Clay, hello. Shout out to all my buds on Tachondrius. Feels like just yesterday, I was on my night elf druid, ganking some buddies on the Tenaris realm at the crossroads. Sorry about <sighs> that. Being on the Classic team and getting to help contribute to this incomparable legacy, which has breathed new life into the original Classic experiences, I'm not sure anything compares to it. Shout out Steel Series, by the way. I passionate our player base is. Not only about what parts of WoW's history they want to see come back, but also their passion for things we try and have experimented with. Speaking of us taking some pretty big swings, in Season of Discovery, we loved watching you use your new class abilities, take on our all new level up raids, find secrets, and team up to defeat Ragnaros and Nefarian. We're looking forward to the AQ war effort unlocking very, very soon here, which will lead right into the launch of the Encourage raid. This will bring new changes and surprises that we can't Saw wait AQ. to bring to you. Fun new mechanics, difficulty changes, new rewards. You know us well enough by now to know exactly how we'll mix it up as you wager your sanity for ancient Kiraji riches. Come Beyond the season of discovery, we have one more phase to come. We previously announced we will progress through all the phases of the original classic era. So get ready not only for Naxxramas, but new instance content featuring the Scarlet Crusade, as well as adventures in Deadwind Pass. Okay, confirmed. Now, to Cataclysm Classic. They will do new content in Zon, okay. Firelands. You've undertaken difficult challenges. A Ragnaros Scarlet Crusade raid. And his feet, and are hopefully a few steps closer to getting your very own Dragon Wrath staff. We're looking forward to bringing you the final phase of Cataclysm Classic when our Hour of Twilight patch and Dragon's Oh Soul my gosh, the final phase of Classic year. Cataclysm? I classic players out there must be I didn't even play Classic next. Cataclysm. Well, let's be honest. I'm level 81. Going next. So Mop is announced. <laughs> And I'm still playing, still playing Sod, I was so squandered. Remember what I said about Sod on launch? Like, right when they announced it, I was like... But then, then I kind of got convinced of otherwise, and then phase one was amazing. But then it just took too long and it kind of snowballed. But the people that are still playing Sod have told me it's really good. It's actually really good right now. The only thing is the PvP sucks. I've heard the PvP is complete dog shit, which sucks. But the current, like, PvE in Sod is really good. Will they have the Legendary Cloaks again? They should. Did Hurricane make this trailer? I bet he did. Dude, I, dude, I met Hurricane at BlizzCon. World of Warcraft, Mist of Pandaria. Dude, I never played Mist at all. So this panda came out in a time in which I was like completely done with the WoW. I was playing League of Legends during this time, which is crazy because I have the craziest League of Legends bug summer, in my head. I, I can't stop wanting to play League. Dungeons set among Am I just, is my life on a 15 year repeat cycle? Traveling back to experience I just realized this. I know life's together. Burning Crusade in vanilla. And then I fell off in wrath. And now all this I want to do is play League. Classic is super exciting for all of us, as well as Season of Discovery. And we love that we'll continue to be on that journey with you. But we know we spend some time on the internet and we've heard some of you out there, you want something fresh. Which is why we fresh are so pleased to announce Brennan that Crusade. we are bringing you the classic, classic experience. <laughs> All new Fresh Realms with the WoW Classic 20th Anniversary Edition. And it's happening soon. How soon, Clay? Actually soon. These realms will be going live next week on November 21st, but you won't Okay, so the Chinese it. leaks, Classic okay. It's all about the journey after all. As we've made a change and our first raid, Molten Core, won't unlock for a few weeks after launch. Oh! Of all flavors. So are they actually gonna nut up and do shit? And for the very first time, Hardcore which will progress through the phases in lockstep with the other two. This means a fresh start for everyone at the same time, together on a level playing field with fresh economies on very large realms. 
If you missed so, out on so, jumping into WoW Classic's initial launch in 2019, are they going to nut up? Perfect time to join our community and and, and actually do shit the right way. The quality of life features that came. And are they are they going to account for the times and make the changes they need to improve PVP on a ranking system? And yes, we're this is what I asked for five years ago. Will progress to the Burning Crusade Classic. This is literally what I asked for five years ago. Oh my gosh, bro. Launching these servers close to the exact date World of Warcraft came out 20 years ago, alongside all the work we're doing for Season of Discovery, Cataclysm Classic, and Mists of Pandaria Classic means so much to us. We love this game, and we love the community that has made Classic Realms their home alongside their friends. From all of us on the Classic team, thank you. This amazing journey is one that's been co-written by you, our incredible community. It's sad that people abandoned WoW. WoW never abandoned you. No, WoW definitely abandoned. No, WoW definitely did abandon. Yeah. And so did the people who watch WoW. <laughs> they also left. I'm a little bit more, uh, I'm, I would be more keen on playing classic fresh than classic hardcore. Hardcore is like a stream content thing, sure. But like, if I'm gonna play the game, like play it, play it. I would rather play the fresh. As part of our ongoing Warcraft 3 30th anniversary celebration, we're excited to announce that all new fresh classic WoW realms will go live November 21st at 2 p.m. PST, so 4 o'clock to November 21st. Brick! That was when I was gonna do Friendsgiving. Okay, so Friendsgiving probably has to happen before that. Uh, nowadays, an individual WoW classic realm can hold many more players at a single time than ever before. For our new fresh anniversary realms, we're limiting the total number of realms to choose from at launch to only one of each rule set. This will give both new and returning players the confidence in selecting a realm with a rule set of their choosing, knowing that it'll be healthy and sustainable. We may choose to open additional realms for a given rule set if needed to address player demand, but it's our intention to limit the total number of realms to as few as possible. When we first launch, we expect some queuing as we will gradually increase realm capacity caps in real time to fit the number of players logging in. We ask for your patience and understanding if you encounter a queue after launch time. Burning Crusade Classic. We're particularly excited to reveal that normal PvE and PvP fresh anniversary rooms will progress to Burning Crusade Classic after we progress through the Classic Era content phases. This will be our first visit back to the start of this beloved expansion since its launch in 2021. Our new Hardcore Anniversary Realms will not progress to Burning Crusade Classic. Hardcore has always been focused on the Classic 1-60 to journey. Made truly viable and approachable thanks to Classic's original mechanics and difficulty. Burning Crusade brings with it a level of challenge and randomness that we don't feel fit hardcore. No changes in changes philosophy at launch. This is the key. Right here, this is the key to me. Because, because I made a video, I talked about it on stream. I used to do Daily Dose of Classic before, before stream for like an hour. Every day before Classic launch. And, and this right here is so critical to me. You have to account for the times. This, this no changes and, and just obsession with, oh, don't do anything, don't. Most people don't know how this game works. Most people don't know how Vanilla WoW works. Most people don't know how WoW works. And so many people would scream, no changes, no changes, no changes, but you don't remember, right? The, oh, I want it just like the private servers, no changes. Well, the private servers made a bunch of changes, but they accounted for the times and they did things in a way that, that was curated perfectly. To, to fit the community at the time. Blizzard needs to do this as well. Classic WoW and any MMO is something that, it, it's, it's like a baby. You have to take care of it every second of the day. You have to constantly be monitoring the thing, right? It's a two-year-old, okay? If any of you guys have ever had a two-year-old baby, this is like a, 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 just this ball of energy that is trying as hard as it can to find a way to kill itself. Like, it's, <laughs> Like, I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna have a kid anytime soon. I have no luck at all, right? So, like, I mean, realistically, like, it's not, like, we're, we're nowhere close. But anybody who's had a two-year-old knows that this thing is just trying to find a way to, like, cause some kind of disaster, okay? It's like, that's basically what it is. So, this is super important. With WoW Classic Anniversary Realms, our goal is to preserve the spirit of what makes Classic WoW special. While we're not strictly following a no-changes policy for these Anniversary Realms, our intention is to closely mirror the classic vanilla experience with minimal deviation from the 2019 version. Stop. How minimal? 
Because this is either really good or not enough. It's too late for this, which kind of sucks. But progressive itemization is so important. And I know they're not going to do it. It's too late for it. Otherwise, they would have announced it. Progressive itemization is something that they 1,000% should have put in the game, and it does make a big impact on the game. If you're not going to have progressive itemization, then you need to have things to, to account for that, right? Dude, I freaking... I, dude. I feel like my vanilla wow, like my vanilla brain, vanilla autism, just like peaking right now. They need to have, they need to, all world buffs should be undispellable. Chrono Boon needs to be in from the beginning of the game. Uh, I do think the batching was way too much. I actually do believe in the batch, but the batch should be very small. It's, it's a hundred, it's 10 milliseconds now. I think it should be like Azeroth, 100, one or 200 milliseconds, not 400. Warcraft, 20 years of music. But, but that's a non-issue at this point. Pyle, senior music producer at Blizzard Entertainment. Tonight we are I'll talk more to in a second. A live orchestral Let me finish reading the post. Uh, in WoW Classic, players have often used a variety of out-of-game tools and methods group of other players, given the limited number of anniversary realms per region. We all we expect all realms to have high pot. Although we applaud players' ingenuity to create tools, we recognize not having similar functionality in-game itself has been a missed opportunity. To support group play, we're introducing a looking for group tool, which will allow players to create, join, and browse parties manually. We're also adding a services chat channel that players can enable specifically for advertising services, such as portals. Okay, so this is world chat. Okay, they're adding a world chat. Good. Dude, not having world chat was so annoying in classic versus on private servers. World chat on private servers was so good. All such advertising must be posted to the services channel and player chat of these kinds placed elsewhere are subject to player reports and actions taken by Blizzard. For those who enjoy the look and feel of the classic guild UI, we've implemented an option for players to choose between the original classic guild UI and the newer guild UI. We're also planning to bring these updates to all classic arrow realms. Appreciate your thoughts and feedback on that. I'll be honest, chat. I think they should put Stormrend in, in classic arrow. Stormrend should be in, in the new new era realms. Stormrend should be in the new era realms. Chrono Boon should be in. All world buffs should be undispellable. Um, progressive organization is not going to happen. Chrono Boon is in. What are that's on Karen Scarlet Raids and Sod? Super exciting. I and mean, we kind of was always hoping, we were kind of always hoping that would be the case. Character transfer on these new transfers will be unavailable. Okay, obviously. Um, Normal so must remain on normal and PV will be like to PV. See, I think this is dumb. I don't think this should be the case anymore. I, the reason why this was a thing originally was because of uh, people not understanding and a lack of information back in 2005, 2006. But I, I do think that this should be changed. Again, account for the times. Blizzard, account for the times. Account for the times. I've always been big on it. Made a video about it five years ago was my most disliked Daily Dose of Classic video, and then what happens months later? S-Fan was right. Literally happens nonstop my entire freaking life, where S-Fan says something, everybody thinks he's crazy, and then three to four months later, S-Fan was right. S-Fan was right. I, G GDKP, in line with our policy enacted on Season Discovery, we will not allow GDKP runs. It's so funny, because this is really polarizing. Some people really hate this, but I... I I thought GDKPs were bad for the culture of the game. Some people are really gonna hate it, but it's bad for the culture of the game. So, so, but, but the no life like DGENs that play the game no matter what, period, nonstop, do the GDKPs. So it's kind of this weird thing where it's like, okay, do you, like, which, which community do you wanna appeal to? I think it's bad for the culture of the game because it hurts guilds. It makes it hard to recruit for a guild and people that want that traditional MMO experience lose it because people are just like, well, I'll just GDKP it. It's not even about the gold buying. It's not even about that. Yeah, there hasn't been a guild community that's going to be exactly Kerrigan, 100%. While we understand there's some benefits for those who find this a convenient way to gain gear, we also recognize there are concerns surrounding GDKP eroding traditional guild and social structures that are a part of the spirit of the game. Player feedback in Season Discovery Realms and NNU has been largely positive about this change and aligns with our internal findings. Okay. I will always love WoW, and I will uh, look. If I if I ever want to run it back, then I will. 
and I will always run it. I will, I will always love WoW. I will always love WoW for what it is. Being a paladin is a part of who I am, okay? Some people think I play paladin. I don't play paladin, okay? I am a paladin. And I've always been a paladin, all right? In game, out of game. And it's always been about ret prio. I've always been about retribution. And it's not easy. Excuse me, it's not hard to swallow the ret pill, okay? Thank you. Thank you! Thank you! We're gonna be in Nax doing 160 DPS. Let's go! <laughs> it's not about the damage, it's about the swag. It's time for me to do something I should have done a long time ago. Is Fand, are you doing mustache only? Time. Destiny, my sweet red paladin. You know what you must do. Why is that so big? <laughs> you can do it. Believe in yourself. The stash is calling. Never give up, you beautiful bastard. I'm Pips next. Pop wins and shred the rest. You look like a pizza delivery man. The only thing I deliver is justice and retribution, okay? Feels so weird. Hey, Asmin, I'm gonna keep this for you if, in case you ever need a little bit of extra. Okay, just let me know. Okay, we'll dye it brown, and you can just fill in the fill in the holes. Okay. So back to this video, um, or back to this this thing for a video. Uh, we talked about a lot of the key things here. Uh, on the New Realms, we want to encourage as many players as possible to level characters and most of all feel safe doing it in their own time. It's too quiet. Doing it in their own time. To further support this, we'll make a deliberate change to delay the launch of Molten Core and Nixie by a few weeks. They open on December 12th. I think it's good that they're doing this uh, in some ways. You lose something when you do this. The thing that you lose is uh, you lose the rush of like who's gonna get like world first for this phase. So uh, yeah, those of you guys who don't know already, uh, this Friday uh, we are gonna be joined by Pirate Software. I got Pirate Software, I got Thor, uh, who's gonna be our guest for this week. Yeah, Thor is gonna be our guest for this week. He's gonna come join us uh, to do episode six of s Man's Tailgate Tours. Yeah, we're going to do episode six of S Fans Tailgate Tours uh, at the University of Washington for a special, uh, they're doing a special partnership with, with WoW. So it's going to be the University of Warcraft. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, those of you guys who don't know already, Thor and I are going to be doing, uh, we're going to, well, the plan is that Thor and I are going to be leveling an OnlyFangs together. Uh, he wants to play a mage. I don't know what I want to play. I just know that I don't want to play Alliance and I don't want to play Paladin. I want to do something completely different for OnlyFangs. Uh, just for like, 
Because only things is like a content thing. Now, if I'm to do a classic fresh, I'm going to run it back probably. Yeah, I think if we do a classic fresh, we're going to run it back. But uh, but I, I don't know. We'll see. There, there's actually a lot, man. I mean, there's there's things that I want, and there's, there's more to talk about with this. <sighs> yeah, I was thinking Shaman or Priest. Yeah, I definitely want to play a Priest or Shaman because I want to be a healer, I think. Healers just have so much power in Hardcore and so much control. Um, I think it's like a... For me, it's like a it's like it's like a key thing. Okay, uh, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, those of you guys who don't know, I was one of the big people really pushing for classic WoW years and years ago. I kind of stopped doing it as much uh, over the last couple of years uh, while I went and I did a whole lot of other things. Uh, I'm always going to care a lot about WoW. I've talked about it quite a bit. Uh, I, I I'm still have uh, pretty good relationships at Blizzard and everything else to to really be like pushing for all that kind of stuff. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm always gonna love classic WoW, like I said, and uh, whether whether I'm playing it or not at any given time, we'll see, right? It's just there's got to be something that I want to do. So I hope that uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, uh, so you know whenever I'm posting new videos, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.